Hey guys, Too Long Didn't Read Filmmaker here. Today I'm going to give you a walkthrough as well as how to operate your brand new X5U6, which is a very budget friendly wireless clip on microphone for content creators. Now, this is not a review, but everything you hear in this video is being recorded with the X5U6. So, without further ado, let's get started. Inside the box, you will find a carrying pouch, some manual materials, a TRS cable to connect the U6 to your camera, as well as a TRRS adapter to connect the U6 to your smartphone or a laptop combo jack. A charging cable that goes from a USB-A to two micro USBs, that way you can charge both units with one cable. A wind muff with a twist lock design making it nearly impossible to fall off your transmitter. A pack of hook and loop fasteners for your t-shirt. A pack of replacement hook and loop fasteners for your transmitter. And lastly, the receiver and the transmitter units themselves. Looking at the receiver, there is a clip on the bottom and it's just the right size for hot shoes on your camera. We have an LED status display on the top. On the side of the receiver, we have the micro USB charging port, the power button, which doubles as a channel select button, and an output level selection button. On the other side, we have an output port. This is where you plug one end of your TRS cable and the other end of the TRS cable goes into your camera. If you happen to be using a smartphone, simply attach the TRRS adapter to it and then plug it into your phone. Taking a look at the transmitter, we have a power button that doubles as a channel select button. We have a micro USB charging port underneath a rubber protection cover. We also have an LED light status display on the front. And on the back, we have the hook and loop fasteners, as well as these two ports here that allow you to plug in the supplied alligator clamp. Depending on your preference, you can actually orient the microphone to the left or the right with this alligator clip. To operate the U6, hold down the power button on the receiver and the transmitter until you see the blue LED lights turn on in the display. Make sure both the transmitter and the receiver LED status lights are pointing to the same channel number. If they are not paired to the same channel number, you will not receive an audio signal. Once both units are paired to the same channel, you will see a green LED show up on the receiver's display. This green LED tells you what output level you're set at. You have 0, negative 10, and negative 20 dB to choose from. A good starting point is for your camera mic level to be set to the lowest level possible and have the U6 start at a negative 10 dB. A good rule of thumb when you're testing out your microphone is to try to get your voice to land somewhere between negative 12 and negative 6 dB. And that's it. You're now ready to use your U6 to record audio for your video content. In the event you purchase two or up to four of these U6 microphones, make sure you have each one paired to its own channel. If you ever need more hook and loop fasteners, X5 does have an H2 pack available for purchase. So with this hook and loop fastener, all you have to do is peel off the adhesive and simply stick it onto your shirt. And just like this, after you remove the alligator clip, you can simply stick it onto your shirt. Another primary use case for this hook and loop fastener is of course to hide the microphone underneath a jacket and or a shirt. That way when you are out and about recording, you still get clean audio without the microphone showing up in the shot. And hey guys, that is the end of this tutorial video. I hope this has been helpful. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave it down below. I will get to them as fast as I can. And if you want to purchase this microphone, I do also have some purchase links down below. So until the next one, see you guys later.